Okay, um, it's the start as all as National Hunt Flat Race. It's the last race of the season, race 36. Over one mile, six furlongs, what a way to finish. So number one is Arctic Do, two Battle Rouge, three Best Man, four Clear Eyes, four Hearts, five Joe Bazooka, six Alexander Graham Bell, seven Sonic Bridge Boy, eight Pink Day, nine Ghost Sapper, ten Kingdom Kingdom of Nuts, eleven Kush, twelve Nature's Wind, thirteen River Yukur, fourteen Serenissima, fifteen The Irish Fancy, sixteen Vitachi Applause, seventeen Wickle Pink, and eighteen Xylophone. So eighteen of them. Uh, 14 furlongs. I think Alexander Graham Bell's probably the favourite as we wait for him to settle down. And it's a pink day that leads us. Just by a length from the rest. He's just starting to pull away a little bit here. So it's a pink day. Leads by a few now. By three to four. We're going to go past the winning post shortly. With a circuit to go here at Aintree. There's the crowd as we watch from the stands. Can't believe the last one to, to come is a flat race of all the things. I'll be surprised if this is not an elite jockey, elite trainers one, two and three. I'll eat my hat if it's not. So it's a pink day that leads by a couple of lengths to Nature's Wind. And we've got say Alexander Graham Bell, Vitachi Applause. Followed by Clear Eyes, Full Hearts, Ghost Zapper in the pink. Outside of that is Wickle Pink. Then we've got Sonic Bridge Boy. They're a length or so ahead of Xylophone. Serenissima, Baton Rouge on the inside. And we've got Joe Bazooka, River Yonkur, Best Man, Kingdom of Nuts, and Arctic Dew, and the one right at the rear is Kush. And this is obviously a double entry race. I didn't know that. Not that I've got two horses that could probably compete at this level. Anyway, it's a pink day that still leads us. We're inside the final mile already. We have bowling off. Going to start to, and towards the bend and head for home. It's still a pink day. Leads by a good couple of lengths to Nature's Wind, Ghost Sapper, and Alexander Graham Bell. The one on the outside is Kingdom of Nuts in the hoops, making up some ground. And further wide is the Irish Fancy. It's a pink day. A few of these are going to go wide, and that is going to be the Irish Fancy here, as well as Kingdom of Nuts, the pink of Ghost Sapper. But it's a pink day that still leads, although it's Leads down to just by a length now to the Irish Fancy. They've still got another bend to negotiate. We've got four furlongs left to travel. It's a pink day. Still leads. Been there since the beginning. One's right at the rear and got nowhere to go. A cush, bat on Rouge and Arctic do. But it's a pink day that leads us. Out of the pack comes Clear Eyes and Four Hearts to put him under some pressure. So it's these two now. Pink down, Clear Eyes, Four Hearts. On the outside is Joe Bazooka. And it's a pink day. Clear Eyes, Four Hearts. Two and a half furlongs left to run. We're in the straight now. And it's Clear Eyes, Four Hearts. Pink day making up... Luke going backwards now. Joe Bazooka making up some group ground, but Clear Eyes and Full Hearts is pulling away here. Clear Eyes and Full Hearts inside a furlong and a half. Leads by a couple to Pink Day. Joe Bazooka. Is anything going to catch this? Clear Eyes, Full Hearts has stolen the lead here. Clear Eyes, Full Hearts. We're inside the final half of furlong. It's Clear Eyes, Full Hearts from Joe Bazooka in second. San Alexander Graham Bell hanging on. Clear Eyes, Full Hearts going to take this comfortably in the end. From San Alexander Graham Bell, I think, was second. I'm going to have to eat my hat because it wasn't an elite trainers one two and three it's clear eyes full hearts from moilet surfer another winner great finish to the season for him so alexander graham bell for paul rhodes was second joe bazooka for graham clutterback was third the irish fancy for joshua sutherland was fourth and fifth was kingdom of nuts for joshua sutherland well that's it lads i hope you all enjoyed it we'll see you in 66 days time and uh adios